Hi there, this is James over at plugin-review.com and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a plugin called WP Activity Log and this is a plugin that is very helpful, very useful to many different industries and it's a plugin that you may not know you need now but once I introduce it to you and show you the back end you might uh, want to consider taking a look at it. So here's the website. As always we're going to take a look at the features and pricing and branding of the plugin then we're going to go into the back end take a look at the back end and features in an actual WordPress installation so here is our website uh, wpactivitylog.com there is a free version and there is a premium version I'm going to be taking a look at the premium version of the plugin today the key features in this plugin are as follows basically it logs every single thing that occurs on your website based on any user uh, any post update anything like that so really it takes anything that happens on your website uh, that can be logged and it will log it for you so the main thing is you can track user activity and users can create delete update posts stuff like that it'll say this user at this IP address did this you can identify activity that isn't meant to be happening whether it's by an employee or it's by somebody who's been hacked you can troubleshoot the problems because you have an accurate log of everything that's gone on. In some industries, there are compliance things. So I used to build websites for hedge funds uh, and we use this plugin because you need to track every change that happened on the website. And this is for a lot of different industries. And it's also just comprehensive. There are a lot of features that I'm going to go in depth in uh, when we take a look at the plugin. So that's basically what this plugin does. It logs everything that happens in WordPress hence the name WP activity log let's take a look at the pricing so starter pricing starts at eighty nine dollars per year and again there's a free version but the free version is fairly limited and you can read more about the comparison between these things uh, on our on our blog over at plugin-review.com the description and plugin for the link to this plugin is is linked in the description below as well as a link to our written review all right so the free gives you uh, basic support and the activity log the starter which starts at eighty nine dollars per year uh, you got your professional ninety nine business at one forty nine the starter gives you everything here search and filters messaging alerts email notifications uh, and then the professional gives you everything but priority support so external database and the additional integrations uh, as well as the user sessions management are two really important features that uh, many different industries might require uh, and then the reports are actually very helpful for companies who um, either need to generate reports on their own but in a more agency sense if you're an SEO agency if you're a web design agency you can use this tool to show clients what you have done on their website so say you run a monthly SEO service uh, and you need to generate a report of everything that you did on the website say you optimize like h1 tags um, it will show you all the changes that were made on the website during that portion of time and then you can generate a report from that and send it to your client and say hey we changed a million different things here's what we did you're getting your money's worth by the way we didn't write this down this was all automatically tracked so as you can see there are a lot of different use cases here um, and it's 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 honestly a very good solution and it's well designed which is what I'm going to show you uh, in the next section alright so the pricing 89 99 149 uh, it does what it does very well it offers you a lot of features um, and if you're looking for a solution like this if you need the regulation if you want to generate reports for clients um, or if you just want to track everything that's going on in your website this is the best plugin out there um, and for the pricing it offers a lot of features alright let's go take a look at the back end of the plugin and understand how it works get a feel for the design uh, and take a look at all the features that they discuss here in in real life alright so when you install the plugin we have this installed on our demo site when you install the plugin you end up on a configuration wizard and I haven't done anything on this wizard so I'm going to show you exactly how uh, the configuration wizard will help your um, your installation process go pretty smooth alright so if you have a different login page then you can change so say you're using theme my login and you change the URL you can change that and this will track everybody who logs in 
Uh, and there are a lot of individual things that it will allow you to um, change. Right now we don't have user registrations enabled. Uh, we could. This is very important. So data can be deleted, which means that you can store uh, more data because you'll be deleting a lot. But you can also keep all the data. And because this is the business version, um, you can have an external database. So if you need to store a lot of data for compliance issues or you just want to make sure that you have this data on hand, you can take this data and offload it to several um, providers of storage. So like AWS, you could store it on AWS or S3 bucket. Um, and that keeps the, the data size down on your individual hosting uh, platform. All right, so that's basically the installation. Now we've installed our activity log. Uh, and here's the the main dashboard of our walkthrough website. And as you can see, it's going to give you instantly the most recent change that's happened on the website. So this could be very helpful if you hop on your website uh, and you see a random IP address has added a link in a certain post. You can infer that you've been hacked and somebody's trying to do bad SEO. Um, so it's it's very helpful. This paired with its security plugin is, is probably your best bet at security as well as simply doing audits on a website, right? All right, so this is the plugin menu item. And from the menu, you get a lot of individual things. And I'm just going to run through everything. First off, you get your log viewer. So here's a log of everything that's been done since we installed the plugin, which was maybe five minutes ago. So we activated our plugin. It says here, you activated it. Here's where it is located uh, on your host. And this is a local installation. So it's installed on the local installation. Uh, here is a database creation. And it will say, this is the table that was created. And it will also give you the priority. So this is a fairly important thing that's going on on your website. So you wanna make sure that this is something that you have either requested or done yourself. If it's something that's not, these are two high priority things that you need to take a look at and resolve instantly. All right, so then this happened because we ran our welcome wizard and this will say, this is low priority. Here's who did it. Uh, here's the IP address that they did and here's what they actually changed in the table. So that's pretty simple. Uh, gives you a log of everything. You can search and filter everything. So. Here are all your filter options. Here are all your search options. It's a very well-featured tool over here. And then you can also enable and disable logging events. So we have a lot of individual things that we can turn on and off. So if we don't want to track somebody uploading images to our website, we can just turn that off. Uh, and you can just run through everything. Uh, and this is exactly what it will track for you. Um, and as you can see, it's very in-depth. You have a lot of individual things that you can track here. Um, so here's a lot of things that you can just track and turn off. So if I don't want to know that somebody created a menu because that's not helpful to my, uh, installation, then we can change that. Very simple, very easy. Uh, as you can see, a lot of different changes here. All right. So there are also support for third party extensions. So you can change file, you can track file changes. You can track front end ex events. It has pre built-in support for Yoast and WooCommerce. Um, so especially if you're like an SEO agency, this could be helpful if you're trying to generate reports. All right, so under logged in users, you can go ahead and check all of the users who are logged into the site. Currently, nobody's logged in other than me. Um, but if we had multiple people logged in, you could see who's logged in. You can terminate all of them. You can change the password, stuff like that. You can also manage the user sessions. So you can set policies. You can make it so you can only have one session. You got multiple sessions, stuff like that. You can easily block them. And this is pretty helpful if you need secure uh, security login, uh, stuff like that. You can terminate the idle sessions after a specific time. And a lot of companies will do this. So this will allow you to do this as well. So it's say your session is about to expire in five minutes. Uh, click this button to come on and log in. You can specifically do it for individual user roles. So, I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff when it comes to user management. You can also set up notifications for your WordPress website. So when somebody logs in or when somebody does an individual event, you could set it up 
uh, to email you that somebody's done this. You can set it up to text you that somebody's done this. Um, and you can also, these are built-in notifications, you can do your own notifications. So if you're trying to set something up for a client, very simple. Every day, automatically, this tool will send you everything that's happened on the website. Uh, and then you can also have it text you with Twilio. Twilio is a, is a paid texting API, but if you're looking for that, they got that here. All right, so on the reports tab of this, you can easily generate reports by user, by IP address, anything like that. Uh, and then you can click generate report now and it will create an HTML report. Let's see if that works now. Um, we will see. You can also create a PDF report as well. So it's really whatever you're trying to do, uh, it will work for your creation needs when it comes to creating a report. All right, here's your report. So as you can see, this could be really helpful if you're somebody who does stuff on other people's websites and you want to tell them, or if you're a company who needs to constantly monitor everything that's going on on your website. So creating the report, uh, very simple. You can easily email it to somebody. Um, and then also you can change the things that are reported on the report, um, stuff like that. Under database archive and mirror, you can go ahead and add an external database and create a new connection to those databases. So you have these individual uh, database types that you can connect to. Then you can also do external storage. So you would need to install additional uh, third party tools to do that, but you can select your connection, uh, test everything, and then push it off to an external security uh, audit log storage provider. Um, and then I mean, as you can see here, there's a lot of individual tools and uh, education that the company offers to you. Archiving and then mirroring the data so you can make sure uh, your activity log is backed up. If this website goes down, you can get it from somewhere else. Finally, you get access to the settings. So this is the settings of the actual plugin mainly. Um, so you could set it up how it works, uh, consulting calls, stuff like that, uh, import, export import export the settings if you're trying to move this from one website to another you can set up the Twilio as I showed you before and as you can see there are testing buttons everywhere here so you can be sure that everything's working uh, and then have it work for you and uh, that is about everything that you get in this log tool um, it's a very 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 uh, well featured audit activity log for your website. It will track every change that has been made on it. Um, it will email you, it will text you, it will push these changes to an external database. Um, so if you're in an industry that requires this, there are a couple industries that require tracking all changes on your website. I know that we had to install these on the hedge fund websites that we did. So if you have any type of regulation like that, this is the perfect tool for you. If you're somebody who works on client websites and needs a way to show them these are the changes we've done, you're getting your money's worth. So if you're doing web design, if you're doing SEO, this is another perfect opportunity for you uh, to easily generate the reports and the logs. So you can create the HTML report, you can create the PDF report, stuff like that. But at the end of the day, this is a very, very, very powerful, very well designed, fully featured activity log. Um, in our opinion, if you're looking for something like this, this number one is definitely the best on the market. But number two, um, the pricing is reasonable. It's an expensive plugin uh, compared to other ones, but the features that you're getting, the tools that you're getting, it's it's a justifiable price. So hope this video showed you a good uh, in-depth walkthrough of WP Activity Log. Um, there are links in the description to both the plugin website as well as the written review of this plugin, which can be found on plugin-review.com. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments section below. And please like and subscribe to this channel. It will help us grow and continue creating in-depth reviews of individual plugins, as well as additional tutorials and stuff like that. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Um, and until next time.